Today, we'll be listening to Dr. Nihad Nabil al shirawi ICU consultant at Al-Qasimi Hospital and Chair of National Antimicrobial Stewardship Committee. We'll understand more her input regarding group 2 carbapenem resistance and its relationship to carbapenem resistance Pseudomonas aeruginosa. So, Dr. Nihad, how do you see the impact of group 2 carbapenem restriction on the carbapenem resistance Pseudomonas aeruginosa? Based on retrospective uh, longitudinal multi-center analysis of 22 uh, U.S. hospitals. Uh, this is between the period of uh, 2002 to 2006. In this study, they assessed the relationship between use and restriction of a group 2 carbapenems, which are mainly merapenem and imepenem, and uh, the volume of a group 2 carbapenem use uh, also, they assessed the incidence rate and the proportion of carbapenem-resistant pseudomonas isolates. In this 22 hospitals in USA, eight hospitals, which represents around 36%, they had a restriction policy for a group 2 uh, carbapenem use. And the remaining 14 hospitals um, did not restrict carbapenems. And throughout this study period, the hospitals did not report any change in their carbapenem restriction policy. Most of the hospital used both merapenem and imepenem, and however, some of the hospitals used either imepenem exclusively or merapenem exclusively. Uh, the overall uh, carbapenem use in these 22 hospitals increased significantly uh, over time from 2002 to 2006. So for example, the DOT per 1,000 patient days in 2002 was 23.3. And this increased to 31.4 in 2006, and this uh, represents a significant increase. However, the proportion of carbapenem resistance to pneumonas did not change significantly. There was a trend towards increase over the years. For example, from 2002, uh, it was 18% and 22% in 2006. However, this change did not reach statistical significance. There was a linear relationship between the total carbapenem use and the incidence of carbapenem resistance pseudomonas aeruginosa in 2002 and 2003 and 2004. Again, this uh, relationship did not reach statistical significance. Now, if we compare between hospitals that restricted carbapenems and those who didn't, we find that in hospitals who restricted carbapenems, the incidence rate of uh, or the uh, incidence rate of mean carbapenem use, which is DOT per 1,000 patient days, was significantly lower in those hospitals compared to those who did not restrict. And the most important that we find that those hospitals who had restriction policies, they had lower rates of carbapenem resistant pseudomonas than those hospitals who didn't restrict. Again, this difference was not statistically significant. Thank you, Dr. Nihad. Looking forward to learning more from your experience in the future.